Thanks for joining us. This week on Sailing Wicked, she's all blocked up and we waste no time jumping right into boat jobs. We reveal a massive amount of hidden damage beneath the gel coat. Issues, issues, issues. And get kicked out the boatyard. Our first day on the hard. <laughs> That's Maddie, and this is Wicked. She didn't always look that good. When we purchased her, she looked more like this. Subscribe to our channel to follow our ups and downs refitting a hurricane damage sailboat, and see what island life is like in the U.S. Virgin Islands. for this moment right here to make our first cut into our boat. Haven't had the boat for two years, but we've been dreaming of this moment of fixing our boat for a long time. we are ready to take this gel peeler for a spin. Months and months of planning were finally right in front of us as excitement got the best of us and we worked right into the night. That is until we got kicked out of the boatyard, our first day on the hard. Good morning. Day two of having the boat hauled out. We did all that. Day one, Matt did most of it. I did like this section back here. But we uncovered a lot of the damage. It doesn't look too bad. There is some rot. Um, let me show you. So this was a wet spot um, and it was dripping water. So it's still a little bit of moisture is coming out. I drilled some holes in it yesterday and the water was just pouring out um, one of these through holes they keep leaking it looks like we nicked it with the gel planer but it looks like under here it has a little bit of rot too it's it's a little bit darker um, so we're thinking everything around the through holes might have rot so we're gonna have to grind out remove the through holes and replace them obviously that was the plan anyway but our plan wasn't to reconstruct the area around the through hole but that's how it goes the damage we uncovered was extensive a lot of it not visible from under the gel coat the gel peeler saved us hours if not days getting through multiple layers of gel coat to inspect the fiberglass underneath so last night uh, we stayed past sunset um, and we kind of got, I guess, uh, not in trouble, but a security guard who works here at night, um, he told us we needed to put a tarp on uh, while we were grinding the fiberglass, but we were told by the office that using a, a vacuum, the, the vacuum is attached to the gel planer so we were told by the office that the vacuum is enough so now i think we should just put a tarp up to just prevent any issues matt kind of wants to wait until someone else tells us something not just this security guard who we've never met who wasn't wearing security or anything um typical matt fashion we'll get into that story about uh hawaii maybe another day 
Um, so yeah, I think we're gonna put a tarp up. You guys will see uh, now whether we have a tarp up or not. And Brittany being Brittany, always following the rules. We don't even know if it's a rule. I just don't want to piss anybody off. Better than being pissed on. Alright, the sweating has commenced and it's a lot of noise. And we're in our suits. Matt was in charge of buying the suits. So you know what happens when Matt's in charge of buying the suits? My boom boom back. My boom boom. That's about as much booty as you get. Let's get to work. salt water well salt water there's rust corroded um the post i don't know what it's called on the post of the rudder that comes up into the back of the boat so let's see if i can do this without matt's help i got a wrench i got some pb blaster so let's see if this works Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Because next week, the rudder drama begins.